Hi folks, I'm Dick Person. I'm glad you've joined me to learn these 50 wilderness skills that I'm going to present. I've lived and traveled throughout Western North America in many different places with the last 25 years plus here in the Yukon Territory. In the winter time, I very frequently go south into the states and down into the provinces to lecture and teach courses and do workshops. Now the places that I go to are colleges, universities, large shows, that type of thing. And of course, I'm asked questions very frequently. And what I've done is select some of the most pertinent and commonly asked questions to present to you in this DVD. So let's have some fun together. For those of you viewing this DVD, I want you to know that you're looking at little pieces of the Yukon, which is a huge place with great riverways, mountains up to 20,000 feet high that offer you a variety of experiences like you wouldn't believe. The application of these different skills that you're going to learn will work anywhere from Tuktoyaktuk to Tucson from Anchorage to Albany, whether you're going out on a two-hour hike or you're going on a two-week canoe trip. Now, this has been my home for 25-plus years, and after you've seen this DVD, if you'd like to come up and visit me and do some of these things, come on, I'm waiting for you. There's a lot of questions and a lot to learn. And so, to give me a hand, I've asked a friend to come and join me in this. Laura? Hey, Dick. Thanks for having me come along. This is great. I'm just delighted to have you here. <laughs> Guess what? I prepared a few questions. That's very scholarly of you. To see how well organized you are. Ah. Mm -hmm. First of all, I don't know about you guys, but Knives are an area that I really am not clear on, so I'd mm -hmm. like to learn about sharpening, the different right. kinds of knives, etc. Think you can help me out there? They are so important in life in the, in yeah. the wilderness and in the bush. Great. Yes, certainly. I also would like to know about um, when I'm out in the bush, if there's plants or berries that I can eat or what to stay away from. Could you help me there as well? We're surrounded by them right now. What else do I want to know? Tents. How to buy a tent. Right. That's, your, that's going to be your home yep. for much of the time, so you might as well do it right. As well, I need a good day pack. What to put in my day pack yeah, when I go out. A good day pack and what to put in it is, is a very important. Right. Mm -hmm. I need to learn how to pick appropriate campsite. Right. You know, an interesting thing is there are certain plants that grow on it that tell you whether or not it's the right campsite. Oh. I'd also like to know what I do if I'm lost. Mm-hmm. Right, because we want you. We want you to survive and come yes. and find you. Right. <laughs> and what else would I like to know? How about knots? Knots. A You're going to use them every day from everything tying stuff on your pack to putting up your tent and so forth. Finally, what about bears? Right. How to protect myself from a bear? Do you know about that? Learning what the bear is saying when he looks at you. Learning bear language. That's the clue. Hmm. Okay. And here, I want to thank Brunt and Company from down in Riverton, Wyoming, for allowing this thing to happen. Now, Dick, these are, this is just a start. Yes. I know we have a lot more questions to ask right. you, so you just get prepared, okay? We better get going on them, eh? Great. 